Welcome to Mark Reed 757, and this is week 10 of the Journey to Hell collab. I do have some other updates to tell you, um, but let's get into the collab. Uh, by the way, look at my fellow collaborators down in my description. They all have great sites. They have been there for me. Um, it's been wonderful, and I, I'm just so happy. Anyway, I came back from surgery. Yes. I finally had that done. Um, I felt terrible. Absolutely terrible the day after surgery. And I barely could move, do nothing, so there's no way I could possibly do a video on Friday. Saturday, I still felt horrible. Uh, just did not want to move, do anything. But they sent me home on Friday, the day after surgery. The surgery was Thursday. And Thursday, I actually didn't feel too horrible. And I, I was able to talk. But Friday, I couldn't talk. Um, I was really out of breath. And they sent me home. And I'm like, wow, this is terrible. But I, I bounced back. Uh, Sunday, I was feeling a lot better. I actually got up and went to church and haven't been to church in a while. I uh, even went to twice in one day. And then Monday, I I went to the disc golf course and had my kids play. However, I did not play. I'm not playing today. It's a good 4th of July. Um, back to the uh, question. We have... Do you have cheat days? Of course. Okay, I always had cheat days, which ended up turning into cheat weeks, which ended up turning into tweet, cheat months, and that in turn was cheat years. <laughs> so I guess I look at cheat days a little bit differently. Um, for, in other words, what I used to feel as though would be a a cheat meal. I, I think the best way to do it is um, I try to stay away from bread as much as possible. However, recently I haven't been. Um, but to me, a cheat meal would be like eating a whole chicken. Now, you can eat a whole chicken, and that's no problem at all. And I, I don't know, I, I guess it's not good to have a cheat meal per se because it, it just, that's what it does. It turns into a cheat meal which turns into a cheat day and turns into a cheat week and a month and that's what I want to avoid at all costs however I've been eating way goofy lately I haven't gained weight but I haven't lost weight I'm, I've been losing gaining losing gaining um, but for the most part I eat the bulk of my meals within one or two times per day and that seems to be the best so as long as I tweak those and I get rid of the bread again because I, I started eating bread again and I think that's what's really holding me up I feel the pain in my knee and I'm, I'm getting all kinds of pain and inflammation from different areas of my body and I know the contributing factor is bread so I gotta get rid of the bread so once you get rid of that you don't really have to worry about the cheat days so much because I get to eat everything I want to eat anyway. Because the whole idea of the cheat day is to eat something that you don't normally get to eat. Well, I like everything that I eat. So why why do I have to deviate from that? Um, that's just me. Uh, obviously, everybody has their own ways. So definitely do what works best for you. Uh, let's see here. Back to my surgery. Uh I had the cryoablation done. I, from what I can tell, you know, he did what he needed to do, but you don't know if it's a success until after you give it some time. Because what happens when you do this procedure is he, he went through with a catheter that went through the groin area of me all the way up to my heart, and he froze different heart muscles. And what that does is it causes a lot of inflammation and it makes your heart go a little goofy or whatever. So you can't 
say that it was a success right away and I went into the procedure knowing this um, about three to six months from now we'll know if it was a complete success or not although there is a high success rate for the majority of people that do this so that's why it was well worth it um, as long as it is successful I'll be able to get off my medicine the doctor did tell me uh, a month from now so around June 22nd or not June sorry August 22nd is my next appointment at the cardiologist I should be able to get rid of my blood thinner and I'm looking forward to that because you I have to take I have to eat at a certain time and, it, and I have to take the pill um, after I ate some food and then I have to make sure I eat some more food after I take it just to like kind of encase that pill in food <laughs> and it's just such a pain for me I don't want to be able to not have to take that I, I don't like that kind of restriction and then I also want to get off my uh, my uh, heart pill that regulates you know it, it basically slows down my heart rate I want to be able to get off of that completely because I take that and it, it makes my heart rate go down to like 40 beats per minute which is stupidly slow I don't feel safe with that plus it hurts my chest when it gets down to you know 35 <laughs> anyway uh, this was my update this was my week 10 uh, journey to health lab and I'm gonna be doing these videos a lot more often I promise you that I, I finally my biggest obstacle was getting this procedure done I just didn't feel like doing anything I mean I was nervous getting it and let's just say that was quite an experience <laughs> something I've never had before and hope to not have to do again anyway as long as all goes well I should be back tomorrow I'm gonna to be back doing my uh, uh, weigh-ins so it'll be a little more regular basis I weighed in today pleasantly surprised however the scale I weigh in on most of the time isn't the same one at work so I don't really want to say the number so we'll just have to see the number on Friday anyway see you